fall. And I planned out all my posts yesterday for the week. Yeah. Just because, I don't know, I feel like it's easier and then it's done and I just have to get up and post it in the morning. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um, so he and I worked together at Ohio state when I was doing my informatics fellowship there Mm -hmm. and he, I don't, I can't remember if it's the Mayo clinic or Cleveland clinic, but, but based in Arizona. So how long ago was this? 10 years ago? Yeah, this was like, yeah, like 10 to 11 years ago. So the so pharmacist, I, a pharmacist you were, used to work with 10 years yeah. ago. Okay, mm-hmm. go ahead. So I haven't, he didn't like the post, I don't think, but he, he texted me and he said, Hey Sadie, I saw your post on LinkedIn. He said, I'm, I'm definitely looking for a second stream of income. He said, I don't have any student loan debt, but I definitely wouldn't mind making some extra money. Are you guys hearing that? See, this is the thing I want you to keep in mind. When people are looking for something else on LinkedIn, 98% of them are not going to like or comment because for fear of perception of what other people are going to think, right? But he directly reached out to you. So if you guys are making posts and you're getting crickets on LinkedIn, do not be discouraged. People are stalking you wondering what the hell you're up to and they're yeah. terrified to comment or like. Because I, I only had three people like it. Uh-huh. But I had 123 people view it. So mm-hmm. there you go. Yeah. People creep. So, okay. So you have them set up for a fall tomorrow night. Yes. Now, the one thing I would recommend is that you send him something to watch before we talk. Yeah. So I have, do you have my, um, I've got like a 20 minute video. That's why all corporate professionals should have a secondary income stream. No. Um, Okay. I'm going to pull it up. And I'm going to tell you, I've been using Trillo, that app that Uh Renee posted about. Uh Uh-huh. That thing has been awesome so far. What do you love about it? Share with us. I just like, I have, I have like two kind of, I don't know, like boards, I guess is what they call them. Mm -hmm. One is an isogenics board. So Mm -hmm. that's just where I'm keeping like, my weekly post. Mm -hmm. I have one that says like LinkedIn ideas for posting and I'm putting articles there or, um, like articles that you come across that you're just thinking, Hey, articles that I come across. And then, like you said, I'm trying, I'm trying to work on my avatar. So like, what are those topics and who Mm -hmm. I'm trying to pinpoint and, um, and then like doing the same for Facebook. And then even though I feel like LinkedIn's more where I'm trying to focus and not so much Facebook, Mm-hmm. But, but if then, you're already going to craft it for LinkedIn, you might as well dump it on Facebook too. That's yeah, what I do. Yeah. Yeah. I should just do that. Mm-hmm. And then, um, but then it's like, I have like another board that's just customer pipeline. Mm-hmm. And like, that's where I'm adding people's names to contact and then moving them along. Mm-hmm. Like kind of. You're treating it like a legitimate business. You're yeah. getting organized. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting I love organized. it. Okay. Mom's in a state of getting organized, but I feel like this actually is working. Yeah. I love it though. Okay. So do, does anybody have any questions for Sadie? Because Sadie's fairly new at this. Like Sadie's just now getting herself organized. A lot of you guys are just getting started. And it's like, um, you know, what kind of methods can you put in place? Does anybody have any questions for like Sadie's process because I love that she just shared with us what she's doing. Yeah, and what I can do is try to snap a picture on my phone and then post it on our team page if y'all want to see that. Yeah. It'll be a lot of like pictures, but yeah, it'll give you an idea. Mm -hmm. And I'm still trying to figure out the app. So trying to, okay, Mm -hmm. yeah, that's probably not going to work for me and stuff. So yeah. Well, so, and I'll tell you the next step. Once you really get busy generating posts, the next step is actually making sure you're cleaning house every week. What I mean by that is actually going back and looking at all the posts that you made and looking where people commented or liked to be sure to follow up with them. Um, Because you can get so busy creating content moving forward that you forget to look backwards. And I'm notorious that I do that. I'll go like two weeks and all of a sudden I'll go back to look at an old post and I'm like, oh shoot. Like that person liked that and I don't even know who they are. Like I need to go reach out to them and thank them for the support and ask them if they'd be interested in learning more, right? 
Yeah. So don't, don't get like halfway to the finish line and not go across the finish line. So um, what I was telling Sadie though, I just sent Sadie a video. Does he know he's going to be on a call with the three of us or right now does he think it's just the two of you? No, it's the three of us. And he okay. said he's open to a Zoom call too, Melissa. Cool. We'll see if I have some makeup yeah. on or if I've got this funny bun on the top of my head. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I did was I just sent Sadie a 20 minute YouTube video. I'll drop it in the thread. You guys, there's a lot of different tools. I don't want to get you confused. Um, at the end of the day, I just like, if you're going to bring me into a three-way call, I just like to make sure they've seen something first. That's a little bit about it. Um, and so I'm sending Sadie, um, um, it's like a 20 minute video I did on residual income that she can simply say to him, Hey, you know, before the call tomorrow night, if you can make sure you watch this, um, it's the, the chick that's going to be on the phone with us, but I think it'll give you a good background of like kind of, um, the opportunity so we can dive into a deeper conversation, like just make it that easy. So yeah. I just dropped it in the thread for you guys. Um, okay, cool. Sorry. I just like jumped right into coaching, but Sadie had a cool story that I wanted to share with you guys. So the bottom line is Sadie got organized. Sadie came up with a plan. Sadie had some value content to post that was engaging on LinkedIn on Monday. She wouldn't have had it to post it if she hadn't thought about it on Sunday. She wouldn't have had it in her feed on Monday for someone that she hasn't literally has not talked to in 10 years, see it on her feed. And he directly messaged her and now she has a business call set up tomorrow. So you guys are going to surprise yourself when you get bold and you actually start putting content out there and owning this industry and owning this opportunity, your network needs to know you're serious. Your network needs to know you're owning this. It's not just a game, right? And when they see you own it with posture, they're going to be curious. Um, okay. Let me get to my notes here. I just went straight in. Let me back up. So general housekeeping, here's what I want to do today. Just um, do what we always do, do some recognition, um, any shout outs you guys want to give. And then I'm just going to run through some general housekeeping. Um, and then I want to just turn it into, a, I really liked the Q&A session we had the other week because I think you guys, a lot of folks are new. They've got a lot of general questions. And if you have the questions, somebody else does too. Um, so that's what I want to do tonight. So let me pause and see um, any shout outs from your sideline, downline, upline, any recognition that you guys want to give um, as we're getting started today. I am personally, like, I, like I'm always doing, going to give Lady a huge shout out because She's literally like my right hand woman. And I like could not, could not um, operate without her. She keeps me straight. She helps the team so much. Um, so massive shout outs to you, lady. Thank you. Um, I was gonna shout out Mandy Irvin. She's on tonight. Yay. Yes, yes. And um, she is a crystal consultant. So yeah, she's enrolled for um people so far so yeah so sadie can you share with everybody how you and mandy even are working together because this is the power of network marketing okay so mandy i enrolled mandy's friend ashley mm -hmm. who was a pharmacy resident at a different hospital than me in memphis but we would be in meetings together and so you know, Ashley and I um, became friends and she's now in New Hampshire. And I just reached out to her, I think one Saturday by way of text and was like, Ashley, do you want to um, look at this program that I'm doing and, you know, health and wellness. And there's also like a, a way to like make money doing this. Mm -hmm. She said, yeah, send it to me. So she got on the on the video, I think she saw the business overview on like a Tuesday night. This was back in like early mid June, I think. Mm -hmm. And then she said, yeah, I've already got two people. I think that'll do it with me. My good friend, Mandy, who's on and, um, 
and maybe like, um, I think her stepsister, which she hasn't enrolled yet. I don't think mm. right, Mandy. Yeah. So Mandy enrolled. And so they were both interested in kind of the business aspect. So we had, we talked with like one Sunday evening for like an hour and then, and, and you didn't know Mandy from the man in the moon before this. No, I didn't know Mandy at all, yep. but I, Mandy lives in Charlotte where I used to live and grew up. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just a small, small mm -hmm. world. And, and now so, Mandy is running with it and Mandy, Mandy running to pay with off it, yeah. her college loans from pharmacy yeah. school. Yep. And Mandy is super motivated and Mandy didn't know Sadie. And now we're trying to figure out who Ashley's going to enroll so she can open up her business and profit share with Mandy because Mandy's building a business right underneath her, right? That's right. And that's kind of like Christine and Melva did with me, right? That's right. <laughs> they were like, all right, Sadie, will you, thanks for introducing us. We're going to go build an empire, right? Yeah. Three years later, Sadie's like, hey, I want, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build with you guys. Um, she'll come in due time. So we'll, um, but I wanted you guys to hear that story because it's so true. You never digging, we call it digging deep within your downlines. And some of you guys are like, what? Cause you've just started or you haven't, you haven't even enrolled anyone yet, but you never know who is going to grow and run with you on the business. When I look at this, um, tile of all of you guys on zoom, I personally enrolled Kim. I personally enrolled Sadie. I personally enrolled Kristen and that's it right? Um, everyone else who's on the line right now is on because someone else introduced you, right? And so it's really important as you start to grow and scale your business that when Sadie started to see Mandy showing up in her isopults, that there's somebody putting some people in, she needs to get to know who this person is, right? Um, it's kind of like today when I was opening up my isopults and I'm like, holy moly, Lena put another person in. Lena is on fire, you know, I didn't enroll her, but Kristen did, right? So it's important to, um, to, to recognize that. And Kim, I saw you slam that value pack this morning, just crushing just a typical Monday, huh? First thing in the morning on a Monday, she's putting in a value pack. Um, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so kudos to you, Mandy, and welcome to the team. And we're just, we're glad you're here. Um, and I've already told her my story. I paid off over $100,000 in college loan debt in two years with Isagenics. It can be done. Yeah, Kim says, yeah, it was a value pack. I know. It was a nice little ding on my isopults this morning. <laughs> All right. Um, what other shout outs? Any other recognition that you guys want to give to your team? Somebody was coming off of, somebody coming off mute to talk. Okay. All right. Well, we will move on then if we're all good. All right. Um, general housekeeping. We have a business overview tomorrow night. Guys, um, we're very like this team tends to be pretty clinical. There's a lot of pharmacists. We have a certain angle that we take on the business, but um, Chelsea Miller is presenting tomorrow night and she's a millennial and a young millennial and her knowledge of entrepreneurship. She went to the number one entrepreneurial college in the, in the, in the U S and graduated top of her class. She is the most articulate 26 year old I have ever met in my life. And I highly recommend, even if you don't have a prospect to get on the line, which you should, that you get on tomorrow night and you listen to her because she is brilliant. And she's one of, um, one of the top income earners of under 35 is called the start group. Um, and I would suggest go follow her. She's on our team and you're going to run into millennials that join your team. Um, and she's just all inspiring and she just lives all over the world. She just bebops wherever she wants. Cause she's got this business that she's just running from her phone. Um, they will also be running the product overview on Wednesday night. And, um, I think you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Chelsea's created like two executives on her in her team, maybe even three in the past couple of weeks. I mean, it's been really, it's been insane. The fire, like just the, the fire that those guys are in. Um, and they're really focusing on kind of minimum packs, which makes me think Kristen about our conversation earlier today and um, just the networks that some of you guys have who are very budget conscious um, millennials, very young millennials are super budget conscious too. 
Um, and there are still popping executives with minimum 100 BD packs. People are going crystal consultant because they're bringing in two minimum 100 BD packs to get their $100 in, in um, crystal consultant money to offset the cost of theirs. Anyway, that's like, I'm, I could go down on a rabbit hole on that. Um, but um, so that's, that's the next two nights. So if you haven't started inviting people, guys, um, I heard Sadie on her computer messaging people. You're, you know, I know Kristen does, has like a really nice flow throughout her week. She builds to today where she's inviting people to take a look over the next two days. Um, you know, you want to be at a place where you're, I, that's one of the first things I do on Mondays is make sure I clean up my inbox from LinkedIn, whatever platform you're using to have the opportunity to invite people to come take a look. That is that. Um, also, we, um, I'm working on a final team label for team live the free life. So if you've not gone onto our Facebook page and made your vote, vote. Dr. Melba thinks that my airplane looks like sperm. So if you think the airplane looks like sperm, then go in there and vote for the one that doesn't have the squiggly sperm on it. <laughs> Walker's all into it. He wants us to make t-shirts. So um, go in there and, and vote for which one you like because it's gonna be it's gonna be put on our team page. Um, celebration. I talked about this last week, guys. It's a big deal. Um, I have not missed a celebration since I started five years ago. I have not missed one. This is the first time it's virtual, which I think makes it easier for people to be absent. Um, but it's as distant as we've all been with COVID, it is all that more, more important that we are engaged. I'm actually checking into a hotel and I'm literally honing in on my computer the entire um, three or four days that it's running. Um, I'm collaborating with Amanda Hamm, um, Renee Schreibman, and Elizabeth Laconi. All my upline, all three of them, Isogenics Millionaires now. Woo, woo. Um, we're going to have a fun little award ceremony on Saturday. There's going to be a virtual photo booth. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but we got it. Um, but we're going to have fun with it. So try to make it a huge priority. There's going to be so many new things announced. Some of you, this is going to be your first exposure to corporate, um, the leadership, our culture, um, our vibe. So um, just do whatever you can to, to make it work. Um, if you've got a local community of team, you can have a house party, you know, you can have a launch party or whatever you want to call it, a, a celebration party. Um, all right. Last thing about general housekeeping. And I need your feedback on this. I don't know that there's anyone on the line, lady, who actually put money in the pot on this. So we, a couple of months ago, when they announced the crystal reset at the NYKO, um, was it NYKO? Um, anyway, they announced a crystal reset, and we all threw money in a pot to compete to whoever got to the crystal executive reset title first got the money. And that date has come and gone and the money is still in the pot. So this is where I need you guys engaged and I want your thoughts and feedback on this because Lady and I were noodling on this. We have a couple different options and I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna throw out there. And most of you haven't even participated yet. What we did was we all threw money in. I can't even remember exactly how much is in the pot already. There's a couple hundred bucks. Um, but um, Sadie wanted to know if they extended the crystal reset. I don't think so, Sadie. Sorry, I, I know that you sent me a text on that earlier day and I didn't know the answer to it. Um, but here's the deal. This is what I'm thinking. So there's a couple hundred bucks in the pot. My thought was we've got a lot of people, they, and we may, there may be an extension, Sadie. We'll have to look into it. Um, there's a couple hundred bucks in the pot. We've got a lot of people in momentum right now, a lot of people with big goals. Here was my thought. We extend the competition. Um, it's 50 bucks to throw money in the pot. My goal was, um, my thought was give you guys three months, okay? So the date would be October 5th um, that we run for the next three months. Um, all of you who want to com compete have to put money in the pot. So you'd throw 50 bucks in Venmo. Um, Blady's going to track it. You'll Venmo it to me. 
I'll keep it, keep it in the safe spot. And we're going to, everyone is rushing to that new, that, that executive title. Okay. Um, my thought was there's two ways that you can get there. Number one would be, um, for those who have never hit executive before, the first person to hit the executive title between now and then would get half the pot. And the other half the pot would be is anyone who's had exec status but has lost it and is gunning to regain their exec status. So I know there's a couple of you guys who've hit exec and you have a manager title right now. I want you guys to all be motivated to get to that exec title, whether you've had it before or not. And I'm thinking I might just take myself out of the running and just leave my 50 bucks in the pot. Cause, um, I think I'm the only one that's paid as exec right now. So that way we wouldn't have to look for calculating a new crystal exec title, which makes probably no sense to any of you guys, but, the company allows even execs to run for a whole new exec title by building 10 fresh consultants. And it'd be very difficult for me to backtrack and calculate and all that stuff. So I think I just take myself out of the, out of the competition, but my money's in the pot. My thought is anybody who wants to compete, throw 50 bucks in. Okay. All of you qualify. Anybody who wants to compete throw 50 bucks in the first person to hit a, a crystal. It doesn't have to be crystal. The first person to hit executive, who's never hit the title before, before October 5th gets half of whatever's in the pot. And the other person who's already hit the exact title before and is trying to regain it gets the other half the pot. Um, so what do you guys think? Let me check the chat box. Lady says, I'm in. Kristen says, I'm in. Sadie says, I'm in. Awesome. Okay, Kim saying they extended the consultant bonus of $100 to NYKO. That's right. That's right. That's what it is. It's the crystal bonus, Sadie. Um, all right. So we've got Sadie in and Kristen in and Blady in. So again, let me just rephrase this. So there's already a couple hundred dollars in the pot for anybody who's really has a three month goal. It's $50, Louisa. Louisa says she's in. Um, anyone who has a three month goal to crush executive, it's just going to make it a fun game, um, to, to run for it. And any of you can hit executive in three months. I hit executive in three months. Um, Danielle hit executive in two and a half months, actually less than that when she found, what did she say? She created her first consultant in April and went crystal executive in Ju Ju July 3rd. Um, so what's my point? My point is any of you can do this. It's just a matter of being laser focused on it. So anybody who wants to compete, throw 50 bucks in the pot. If you're the first one to exec and you've never been there before, you get half of it. If you're regaining your exec title, which one of you will probably grab that first. And that's why I wanted to create two competitions. Um, you get the other half the pot. So just DM Blady if you're in. I see that Luis is in, Sadie's in, Kristen's in. DM Blady if you're in and she'll give you my Venmo information and we're, we'll have a fun little competition about this. Um, awesome. Okay. That's my general housekeeping. Now for the rest of the call, it's just Q and A. So what's going on out there in your conversations? What, um, let, let's do, let's do, we did this last week. Share with me your win and your challenge. So I'm going to start with, um, Ogena, I see you just popped on. What has been your win this week and what has been your biggest challenge with Isogenics business? It's probably caught talking to a patient right now at the pharmacy. I'll go to Kim. We'll come back to you, Ogena. Kim, what's been your win this week with Isogenics? I know it's only Monday. We can look back the last week. What's been your What's been your biggest win in the past week? Me or the other Kim? Oh, sorry, Kim Pravidi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, my win today is that I put in a value pack. Ooh, ooh. Yay! Mm -hmm. Who was yeah. it? 
Um, it's actually a girl that I met at a wedding last year. Had no idea she was following me on Facebook. Yep. And she contacted me and last week and said she was interested in hearing more about the shakes. So awesome. So it was very, been, very fast. So you've, you've been, but you've been consistent. And when she was ready, she was ready, right? Yes. Yes. I know. It's interesting how people just show up. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Well, congrats. Yes. Okay. Thank what's you. been your biggest, what's been your biggest challenge in the past? Um, I guess just believing that um, I can hit my next step, which is manager, just having the confidence yeah. in myself. You're so close. I know. I know. You're so close. You already have one consultant, right? Yes, correct. So we've got some managers on the line. Sadie, um, Kristen, anybody want to speak some, <laughs> some um, advice into Kim? Because I know you guys have recently crushed your manager title. Anybody want to share what, what helped you get over the hump? I think it's always right from the beginning when you're enrolling somebody new to ask them right away, what two people do you know to get them thinking of that and explaining how you get double bonuses if it's in the same week yep. um, and just getting them with that thought process right from the beginning with who they know. Yep. They can get some of their products paid for, all of them paid for depending on. Totally. I, I, I agree with you a hundred percent, Kristen. And when I first started, even for a long time, it wasn't second nature for me to do that. And, um, until it becomes second nature, it's hard to pop consultants. Awesome. Kim, how do, do you feel like when you're on the phone, you're doing that? Like with your value pack today, did you talk to her about bringing in two accountability buddies? I didn't. <laughs> Honestly. There you go. There you go. I did. I did send her a text after I put her order in and said, you know, I just wanted to mention to you that if you share with two people, so I did bring it up. So, so what, but, why do you think you didn't bring it up? Were you afraid to bring it up or did you just forget? I think I just forgot. It's not automatic for me. I think I just need to have it written in front of me and just yep. as a check off. So, yeah. so I do it next time. Absolutely. So lesson learned, right? Yes, um, exactly. I'm, I mean, to this day, I recruit people exclusively for the business and I still forget to tell them their first steps before they get off the phone. Cause you're so excited. You, you're getting the enrollment and you're getting their credit card and you're just like so excited. Then you hang up and you're like, shit, I never even talked about what they needed to do next. They need to go find two people. Right? So yeah, I would say like, write it on your hand, like with a Sharpie or something um, so that you don't forget right? Because I think that's probably your Achilles heel, right? Is not, people don't know what they don't know, right? Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for, thanks for sharing. Um, Lena, what has been your um, biggest success in the past week with your business and what has been your biggest challenge? Um, so my biggest win is, um, helping people to understand what Isagenics is all about. And we have a few people who feel like MLM is a scam and networking business is, you know, it's a scam. It you keep going back and forth trying to get two people, two people. So where where does it end? You know. Mm. So these are the questions they ask, and you know, sometimes they don't get it. They feel like anything multi-level marketing is a scam. So mm. what we are doing is network marketing for sure, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I try to explain to them that that's not what it is, and um, but I haven't signed up anybody last week. Uh, it's just, you know, trying to answer their questions. And then, you know, they'll be like, just give me a few days to think about it, which is okay, you know. Mm -hmm. And then my biggest challenge is, well, getting people to join the meeting. I try to remind them four times that day, like, okay, it's, two hours to time, it's one hour to time, it's 30 minutes, okay, it's 10 minutes, are you ready? So um, that, you know, 
has been a challenge. So now what I do is when I talk to them, I usually ask them, hey, where do you want me to send the link to? Would you like for me to send it to your phone number? So some of them send me their phone number and I send it through their WhatsApp, text message. So that way they will get it somehow. Mm -hmm. I send it to LinkedIn, me um, text messaging and WhatsApp. Awesome. So awesome. that made a whole lot of difference, you know? Yeah. So let's talk through this. So one of the things that I like to respond to people who, who may say or have something negative to say about MLMs is I'll just flat out ask them, have you had a bad experience personally? Okay. Nine times out of 10, they have no idea what they're talking about. They're just judging it based mm -hmm. off of the really spammy, unprofessional network marketers who've come after them in the past. Right. And they're thinking, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be perceived as that. And no, thank you. Right. But the reality is they've never actually slowed down and paused to actually assess the business model and assess the opportunity. Um, so one of the first things I'll say is, have you, uh, gosh, it sounds like you've had a bad experience. Have you been, have you partnered with an MLM company in the past and see where that takes you? Um, and uh, nine times out of 10, they'll say, no, I haven't. Um, and what I'll, what I do is I validate. So I'll actually validate their emotions and say, I, I really, I have felt the same way you do now. I've been, I've been in your shoes and I've thought the same thing. Um, because that really helps validate their emotion and their perspective. Um, but then you let them know that's how I felt until I stopped and actually studied the opportunity and met the professionals that were on this team. And that's when my eyes were open and now I'm so excited about the opportunity and really being able to pave it forward with others. Um, and so, so again, number one, just questioning, have you had a path? Have you had a history with it? And then um, agree and talk about how you felt because you were probably skeptical before Kristen enrolled you, right? Did you oh, think yeah. it was one of those things, right? So be honest. Like when, I, when I see anything ML, I don't even wait to check the next M. I'm just oh. like, no, right, a scam. Right. So you can speak to that. I thought the same thing. I'm so glad I slowed down to understand e-commerce and the business mm -hmm. in the 21st century. Um, and I'm just here to pave it forward with professionals who are willing to take a look. And if now's not a good time, you know, so be it. Mm -hmm. um, you've planted the seed. And if you stay present on your platform that you're active on, when the time is right for them, they might pick up the phone and call you like they did for Kim or they did for Sadie, you know? Yeah. And then the other concern I have is like, I've been dealing with a lot of millennials. Mm -hmm. So they ha get this excited, they get excited. And when it's time to get the product, once they see the price, that's where we have a problem, you okay. know? So, yep. so that was when, you know, I came up with the idea. Okay. I mean, I spoke to, you know, quite a few people in the team and we talked about how about knowing their budget first, like have an idea of what their budget is because somebody might have a budget of 500 and the other person might have a budget of 200. So that way I know what I'm working with rather right. than scare them. Cause once they see, they're like, Oh, they're expensive. Oh, right. you know, right. And I've had quite a few people that just don't join because of that. They're like, okay, how do I convince somebody to spend $300 a month on, you know, a product that they haven't even used before. Right. Okay. These are all really great points. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about this. So first and foremost, we do, we want to meet our prospect where they are with their budget. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, we, what I will say is I try to, what I do with people is I try to have them kind of walk me through what's in their pantry and what they're consuming. Um, so like for instance, Kim is a good example where we talked through, she was um, doing kind of the keto program, right Kim? And so um, the 30 day system didn't really work for her also because she doesn't eat a whole lot. Like she does a lot of fasting during the day already. Um, and 
we determined that based off of her budget, based off of her diet, that the Healthy Lifestyles Pack was actually going to suit her best um, and really give her that one meal she was looking for. Um, and so, you know, it took me saying, well, walk me through what you eat. Talk me through a typical day. Um, and she was not, and when we got done talking, it was like, okay, well, if she's like, if she's fasting till noon or whatnot every day, and she's really cutting a lot of carbohydrates out of her diet, then it'd be silly for me to try to get her on like a value pack, right? Um, because she's going to have all this food left over at the end of the month. So I think that part of it is having people walk you through their pantry. I will tell you, Lena, I don't know about you, but from my experience with millennials, the one place they spend a lot of money is on energy drinks, whether it's coffee or, um, you know, the nitro brewed coffee, like a lot of fancy expensive energy drinks that they're drinking, um, and performance. Like they may not really be into undenatured way, but a lot of them are taking a pre-workout and a post-workout. And so... Yeah. You know, and I think Kim and I even had a conversation with a prospect who at first was like, oh, it's really expensive. And then I'm like, well, tell me what you guys are consuming right now. And she, we started talking and it was like her boyfriend was already taking a pre-workout and a post-workout and a protein. And it's like, well, let, let me show you how you can redirect your spending right now to a more high quality product and eat your overhead and start a business, Right. And so I think that the more you can kind of slow down and identify what they're already eating and how they can redirect it, that can help, especially with millennials who maybe aren't looking to, you know, do a nutritional overhaul. But also the last thing I'll say, Lena, is there's nothing wrong with a little bit of posture too, where, you know, I'll say to people, you know, where else in the, on the planet can you invest a minimum of $150 to $160 to I tell, I, 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 get a I turnkey that. business? Yeah, and you eat it. Because <laughs> if you're going to open like your pharmacy or I, I, I say it, I'm like, if you're going to open a pharmacy, how much are you, will you have to invest to just open the pharmacy, not even right. the systems? Right. And you're right. like, oh, right. like 200, 300,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So if you're going to spend just 150 to maintain or, or i just put between 150 to 500 to maintain your business mm -hmm. that's a good investment you know right. so i put that to them and they're like oh but i don't know you i met i just met you on linkedin so i'm gonna i, I can't spend that much like just trying the product that i don't know you know mm. so well yeah, well, and then there's just the readiness piece. Are they, re are, they, are they truly ready, right? And part of it's just you staying consistent on LinkedIn and them following you and the success mm -hmm. um, that makes them, when they're ready, they're open, right? Um, because some people just aren't ready. I mean, like Danielle Cole, who was, she was she, I, I prospected her for a year. She wasn't ready. She wasn't ready, you know, until she was ready. Um, there's one other thing I was going to say, oh, that you brought up that I think is really important for all the new folks. What I, I, I talk about the elephant in the room, like the moment that they ask about getting started and what it, what's it going to cost. Um, especially if you're um, getting someone started on a 30-day a, a system, which might any, be anywhere from three to $500, $600. Um, people will have sticker shock in the, in the, in the fact that um, they think that that's what they're going to pay every month, right? And so... What I'm constantly saying on the phone with the prospect is this first 30 days is a nutritional overhaul. What I want you to understand is we're replacing two meals a day. You're getting two thirds of your groceries at your front doorstep on day one. This is not what it's going to cost you for maintenance every single month. This is just for the first month to get you squeaky clean, get you nutritionally rebalanced. And then we're going to get you on a much less expensive maintenance package, you know, maybe around $160, $170. And I feel like that kind of can put people at ease that they're not having th that first investment is not what they're paying every month. Right. Um, okay. Well, thank you for sharing Lena. Keep us posted. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Who else wants to share a win this past week and a challenge? What about Louisa? Hi. Um, Hi. You know, I, I, en I enrolled um, Michael McQueen 
uh, pharmacist I met on LinkedIn. Yay, that's um, nice. And, and, um, and so that's been good. Um, I did, you know, I'm trying to stay kind of close to him and stuff. I don't even know if he's, I don't think he's on the line tonight. Um, I did share uh, some of the frustration when inviting the team to get on the team calls and people just can't always come on. And I understand they've just got lots of other things going on. So that's just kind of been a challenge of mine, I guess. So, yep. um, so I guess the win is just that, um, you know, I think uh, inviting people to the opportunity calls and stuff, if, if it resonates with them, um, you know, for Michael, uh, I invited him to, I think he saw the call that Joe Ames did maybe, mm -hmm. I believe. So that was just a really good, it just seemed like that worked, <laughs> yeah. you know, really well for whatever reason. And so I'm kind of, you know, picking and choosing kind of the calls that I, I send to folks just because I think some calls will resonate better with some prospects than others. Yep. A hundred percent. Yeah. And so, so that's been kind of what I've been deciphering, but the, but the challenge is always to just kind of get everybody um, kind of on board, I guess. That's sometimes is the challenge I face. So yeah. with my team. So I love what you said, first of all, about the videos, like what tool, um, and Blady and I have been back and forth about this. It looks like Amy just texted us. So we'll see what we can do about that. Um, but it's very timely um, because Michael, your, your guy, you just enrolled. And I don't know if he copied you on it or not, but he, and I know that you guys have been in conversation about it. He was even saying, is there a way you can organize all these YouTube videos so that we know where they are um, for the, basically for the right prospect, right? Um, and so I actually have been working with Amy, who does all my design on my webpage. She created a file for us where we're gonna be able to upload all the YouTube videos, like in chronological order with the date and the title. Because like you, Louisa, like I very judiciously decide which video I'm gonna send. So like I had a guy today in my LinkedIn inbox who does not have a clinical degree at all. He's in his late 50s and he has an MBA and he was interested. So I wasn't gonna send him one of our functional medicine overviews, right? What I did is I sent him the one I did with Murray Miller where Murray spoke for like 28 minutes of the 30 minute call, right? Because that's gonna resonate with him just like your Joe Ames um, overview resonated with Michael. But the key, um, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I was gonna say, I agree with you. I mean, Murray's call was so good for yeah. a business person um, most, more so maybe male or, you know, a man, uh, especially a man in his fifties. But I think it resonated with a lot of other business people, women or men, but a, a more mature kind of group, I think. Right. I, I thought his presentation was awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so knowing, you know, knowing who you need to send it to is, um, half the battle. So anyway, you guys stay tuned because, um, I'm hoping that Amy, can give us a tutorial on how to upload all these videos. And I'm hoping on one of our next team calls, we're gonna give you guys all access and um, through Blady and I will have figured out how to load up all the videos for you guys so that you will have them. Um, I know Kristen's so organized, she's probably got the YouTube videos like on a sheet somewhere on a, a Word document and she just grabs what she needs. Um, I should be doing that. Yeah, I, I, have, I, have my, I have my, yeah, I have my videos organized and everything, but sometimes you don't always know which ones to, to send, you know, yeah. Yeah. so, and so having something like that even more condensed would be even better. So um, yep. that, that'd be very helpful. Yep. Yeah. And then as far as getting people on, you know, getting people engaged, that's the hardest part, you know, um, I think that um, our daily morning calls are recorded. So if you're hearing a morning call that really resonates and you're thinking about someone on the team that really needs to hear it, maybe you give them a nudge that they go grab the recording. Um, you know, I'm constantly trying to remind the team that if the, if the time that to dial in doesn't work for you, that's okay, but make it consistent when you listen. Maybe it's every evening for like a, for like a year, I listened while doing dishes and packing lunches the next day. Um, Sidney says, I can't catch the calls live, but listen to them on my way home. So that's the thing is she routine. She has a routine. I've got a Bluetooth in my shower. So I'm constantly, like, I don't waste a minute. I listen for 15 minutes in my shower and then I get my earbuds and put them in my ears while I'm drying my hair. Right. Um, I don't waste a minute. Right. You're talking to a mom with three little kids at home this summer operating more than one business. So it's just a matter of giving them some ideas on how they can make it work for them. Sadie says, don't call me on my way home. I won't answer because it's my time to listen to the call. I love it. 
Um, okay, awesome. Um, let me do a little time check here. 916. Okay. Who else wants to share? Um, awesome. Yeah. Louisa says, I know Louisa, you're always engaged. You're always on the line, which I love and appreciate. Um, all right. Let's see. Anybody? Hello. Hello. Is that Ogena? Yeah, this is Ogena. Hey, you want to share with us your success in the past week with Isogenics and your challenge? Well, my success now, like I'm doing a lot of connection in rating now. Mm -hmm. I have about five prospects that will be on the call. You have what now? Say that, say that one more time. I'm driving. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I have a five prospects okay. that will be in tomorrow call. Yay! And all, yeah, all is from rating because I, I've been trying to get my network to mm -hmm. to now, you know, and uh, that. Oh, we lost you. Which is probably the part that he wants because he's probably going to share with us this challenge he wants coaching on right now. And I can't hear you, Ogena. Um, I love that he's got five people in the funnel for tomorrow. Doesn't surprise me with New as his coach because New does such a great job with the whole prospecting funnel and, and communication. Um, oh, we lost him completely. All right, maybe he'll come back. Susana, I see that cute puppy dog of yours. We'd love to hear from you. What's been your win this past week with Isogenics? Hello, hi. hi. So I joined finally. Oh, I heard the camera. Okay, just trying to get my working. I'm sorry, it's really dark out here. But my win? I finally joined Isagenics International today because yeah. I saw that we opened in Denmark and I have a really good friend there that she might be interested in getting some products and maybe even sharing. So I did the first step for that. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for this. It's about time <laughs> you did that. Because yeah, so I was telling Christine that I'm going to need Cause you're in Christine's yeah, downline, you know that. I bet you have some some business in Hong Kong and Australia right now. Anyway. anyway. You, you totally need that international license. Yeah, I don't have um. Because Katie Chong yes, but, is probably in your downline and Dr. Melba's team, right? I think so, Christine's said that we do have somebody on our team that's in and what somebody in Korea yeah so I think so most of she you, said most that of you would benefit from having international license have, yeah when I look at my back yeah office, I so I just signed up for that too. sorry go ahead yeah so I'm gonna then try to look online and maybe later tonight before I go to bed to send her some information for her to look over and then see what we can do tomorrow after work. Awesome. So is she interested in the business, the products or both? I didn't get to talk a lot to her about it because we're like on a different time zone. And I just realized the other day and I reached out to her and then she reached out to me, uh, you know, like, Oh, that would be, cool and I could share, you know, she's like, I could help you, but we didn't get, I want to do like a FaceTime maybe with her to go over it in detail and see what she's really interested in. Well, I'm more than happy to hop on a three-way call with you. So just let me know. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yay. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. You're Most great. <laughs> As always. Most most of you guys should get your international license because we're we're in a number of countries already. Um, okay, awesome. Uh, Susana, do you want to share a challenge Thank that you. you've had with Isogenics over the past week? Challenge for me to try to start to do a thirty day <laughs> to restart the thirty day because I'm also trying to do 
the six to eight or more like the 10 to, what is it, 10 to 12, whatever, 20, uh, 14, um, fasting. So I've been having trouble to do the shakes because if I only, like once or twice to try to squeeze in the shakes, it's kind of, I find it difficult. Huh. But that is just my personal journey, so yeah. So, so far today I've been fasting. Let's see, hopefully I keep it up and then and don't eat anything, let's do the 48 hours. But that's my challenge now. That's a personal challenge. <laughs> You've got this. Just remind yourself of how amazing you feel when you do it. Like, there's no better way to be a product of the product yes, for sure. than you do a two-day fast. And then Sadie, how, how many pounds are you down right now? Sadie's been crushing, crushing it. it. 11 pounds. 11 pounds. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yay. I have to, I, I even forgot to weigh myself this morning. I just, so. did a I just did a 30 day reset to get back with like just being like using the products consistently. So, yep. It's helped. Awesome. Right. Yeah. Let's see. Anybody else? Yeah, it's a bit easier to share too, like when you're doing it. You know? Yep. Yeah. You remember how amazing you feel. Um, what about Mandy? Have we called Mandy? Have I called on you yet? My screen, you guys have kind of shifted around a little bit. Um, Mandy, do you no. want to? I, it's kind of loud, but I can try. Okay. Um, so being that, let's see, it's been probably what, three weeks since I signed on as a consultant. Um, I think my challenge was, I thought I was going to post on Facebook that I'm doing this wonderful weight loss thing that high protein and great for Tony and get a great response and I didn't. So that was my challenge. Um, and then I think my success is I enrolled two people last week. So I got a hundred dollar bonus. Yay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that was my, my win for the week last week. Awesome. Yay. So, the, the post on Facebook. So just, just to keep in mind, it's your journey, right? Um, you've got a lot of people who are watching that are skeptical. They're wondering if this is a fad, if it really works, you stay on your journey and you continue to be the product of the product. And those skeptics that are watching you when they're ready, they'll come to you. You got this. Awesome. Blady, what's your, what's been your isogenics win for the past week and what's been your challenge? Okay, so win is been uh, getting back in the phone uh, or in text and voicemail. I mean, getting active again in the DMs and um, I had really good conversations. Um, I have been slowing down because I, I mean, I, I was the kind of person that I would feel excited, like I have a solution and try to it too quick without asking questions and actually finding um, like why they need it, you know? So yeah. are you using have, the template at all from the LinkedIn yes, training? And the I have been doing okay, that. It's, yes, very helpful. And guided by that, um, I, I have been having the great conversation of um, a getting to the, the person uh, i mean i haven't had one that say okay i'm ready right now but it's like it's really interesting right now i can't because my financial situation but i'm interested so that is for me and i'm going to be following up i'm gonna be catching up you know um supporting liking whatever i can do loving on that person um uh, till they are ready because it's a, i'm interested you know very interesting so um another one was uh i was there was a post in a group that i am um about a girl that it was really upset about another company that she was looking into it uh, an mlm company and the the coaching was very like okay i i want you to post this um and she had like a she say, I, I, they send a picture and they change 
uh, they change something, something in my picture, like my teeth or something like a, you know, they accelerate, like a kind of fake publicity and, you know, that kind of tactics that other companies have that make this bad taste in people, yeah. you know, about this wonderful um, industry. So um, she bought, she posted that very, you know, to rant, very upset. So there was a bunch of comments. Yeah, that's why I don't like that, blah, blah, blah. Oh, man. So um, I post like, a, you know, yeah, sad that you had that, but you don't, <laughs> my saying is uh, you don't uh, stop believing in love because you didn't work out with your first boyfriend, right? <laughs> so right. <laughs> you just need to do your research. Um, and I mean, glad that you find out that that's not, doesn't go with your values and you stop it, but don't think that all the companies are like that. You know, I just posted like that, and uh, another girl comment. Oh, and I was looking into uh, this other company because I like the idea of that business. So I messaged. Uh, I know we are friends, but we haven't really like a uh, connect. So I messaged, and we started to talk. I, I mean, I didn't want like a I have an opportunity. No, I was right. like a why? I mean, what is what you feel like a uh, um why you want to do this this business is because you i see that you have a beautiful little little girl is that because you want to stay at home and work uh is i mean tell me a little bit about that you know and i started to get in that conversation and then she told me that she was using some products and i was like oh really well me too and then i i gave my quick story story and and then we talk about i i talk about how I love the quality, but no, like a selling, just like a telling. Yeah, I love my products, and and then she said, "What is that?" Like, a, uh, tell me. I would like to read about that, and I said, "Here's some information," and it was very like, I mean, now you're you're really like uh, make me convincing me to to actually change and try your products instead of what I'm using, and she sent me a comparison list that uh, she probably she asked to the person that wrote her or something and there was like a genius in the list and he says that we have like a zero a good fat and something like that and i was like what wait wait a minute he's a genius team <laughs> so i sent her postcards and i said you um i sent her the the carol elizabeth call about the, the products oh. and then she was like a wonderful, yeah, I, I like it. And and you say that there is a business, right? Or what is what what you win with this? I mean, what was your what is you win in all of this? Uh, because that sounds like a way too good to be true. I mean, and I'm like, uh, yeah, I I feel you. I thought the same. <laughs> but the good news is that yeah, it's, it's super good and it's true. Um, and I just like I told her a little bit about. You know, just share with, think about you, you say share to do friends and say, because with her company or with the one that she was looking into it, she needed to like a buy some inventory. <clears throat> mm. So I was like, no inventories, you eat your hair, like, and I was like, huh, very interesting. So we, we are like in that conversation. So yeah. from the food, we, ch we jump to the business, so there is a chance that I can... Get that. So I'm very excited that I'm kind of growing in that conversation because yeah. I was stuck in that. I don't know how to do that, but right. with the template and a little bit of practice. Yeah. It's like dating. It's like dating and having to go around all the bases instead of just yeah. trying to go home. <laughs> right. Right. Yes. Yes. So yeah, I'm because people there. people want to feel like they're connected and that they've been heard and that you actually understand their story and that they are a good fit, you know. Right, so. you don't want to be said. I mean, I am starting to think how how I want to be like uh, connected. Like I don't want someone just to jump to the juggler and try to sell me, you know. Right, that's right. I want someone that try to solve, solve a, a problem that I have, you know. Like I'm I'm trying to connect with that a little more and it's funny that I'm doing that just after all this time but it's just a process I had to you know grow some do some personal development do some growing even my language because you know I'm 
this is not my um, I have to do I have a lot to do a lot in Spanish mm -hmm. so I cannot use a lot of the scripts I have to translate basically everything mm -hmm. so that's a challenge I know kind of could, takes a little time from me you know to do all of that well that's um, awesome I love that yeah. you're I love that you're growing in your conversations though and you're learning how to take it more slowly and get to know people hopefully at the way soon <laughs> yeah awesome so challenging is that i need to get a little more consistent um and with the posting i haven't been really consistent with that but because i was focusing in that i just need to find a balance right and everything okay. and other thing is that i'm getting a little bit frozen sometimes and i don't know why like someone i'm really good at connecting and then I, I get good at asking and then when the people say okay I'm ready well no I'm ready but I say okay I want to know more I kind of froze for a second like uh, I have so much information in my head that I'm like uh, what do you do what I say what is it and I'm like you know I have to probably come up with a with a with a post stick that it tells me step one two three so I don't get freak out and so I know Go to step one. You know? use, the, use the prospecting questions that I've, I've, I've posted in the LinkedIn training. Um, you know, the flow for a business call or a product call. Yeah. Use that as your template in week three. Okay. Yeah. Go to week three of the LinkedIn training and there's a template that it gives you the flow of what questions to ask when leading with the business opportunity or the, um, the product one isn't in there. You have to go to Six Figure Side Hustle for the product one because LinkedIn is just business. Yes, yes. Yeah, print that out. All yeah, of you guys. You can see it in, my, in yeah. front of me so I don't get that feeling. I need some practice. I mean, I'm, not, I'm just, I was just so scared to do it. And, uh, and I'm just like, I mean, what is, I'm changing my, what is the worst to what is the best yeah. that can happen. So. Well, and you have to, this is the thing. This is good for everybody to hear. You have to know where you want to go in the conversation before you get into the conversation. And that is a skill set that is learned. It doesn't just happen innately, right? Right. Um, and so I highly recommend any of you guys who've gone through my LinkedIn boot camp to go to that. Um, go, oh, it's in the pro course. That's why um, I, the, it's in the LinkedIn pro course week three. The template is or the six figure mm -hmm. side hustle. Um, it's in one of the first weeks. It's in the templates that you can download. As a matter of fact, why don't we do this? Cause lady, this will be good for you. I'm going to make mm -hmm. it your homework. Cause it's going to help you to pull yes. that template and post it in the team thread. So everybody can have it. It's in the week three for LinkedIn pro and it's in six figure side hustle. I can't remember in the six figure side hustle. We have the product prospecting, flow sheet and the business flow sheet. All right. Last but not least, Kim, we're going to close out with you. What has been your, your win over the past week and what's been your, your challenge? Um, so, um, I think it's been more of a mindset thing this week. Um, it's been a balance between, you know, creating urgency and sharing mm -hmm. versus building that delicate relationship with your prospect, like we've been talking about. So I've just decided that, you know, it's not about recruiting as much in the beginning. It's about just sharing the nature of network marketing and how it could be, you know, an improvement for really everybody's life. Yeah. That's awesome. And it's just like helping create kind of this new piece of who you are, right? And like your personal, I call it your personal brand. It's just a piece of you. Um, along with everything else that defines who you are and then owning it, right? When you talk about mindset, I truly like my enrollments really started to come in when I truly believed in what I was doing. Um, it's interesting, but people can sense that even in your DMs, in your posts, everything. When you're not sure, it comes through not sure. When you know without a shadow of a doubt, they don't want to be left behind. You know? So, awesome. Uh, what's been your biggest challenge? 
Um, so I've been trying to um, be more consistent like Blady. And uh, I think with just being consistent and doing your daily methods of operation and creating content ahead of time, um, yeah, it's something that you really have to work on daily. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, absolutely. Um, as a matter of fact, I've got, I mean, I've got it written tomorrow morning. I'm going to be putting the other content for the rest of the week because I didn't do it this morning. Um, especially guys right now with COVID and all that people are just cooped up. It's never been as important as it is today to, to be active on social media. I don't care if it's like, you're not a big fan of it. Um, you're in sales. I hate to tell you, but this is sales and this is direct, this is direct marketing, um, to your network. And there is no better way than to be yourself authentically daily providing value to your network and creating curiosity. And those who are doing it are winning, right? Um, they're winning at the game. So I love that. Uh, let me look at the chat box here really quick. Kristen says, I feel the same sometimes. The scripts are huge to help organize your brain. Uh, probably about what you said, lady, where you're like, I don't know what to say next, <laughs> right? Um, awesome. Well, these are all really great shares, guys. Thank you for being vulnerable. Thank you for sharing tonight. Um, lady's going to share the scripts with everybody. Um, I think what we're, you know, I love Kim that you closed on being consistent and, um, working through what you're going to share. And we kind of opened our call with that with Sadie and how that's what she's been doing and it's generating leads for her. Um, your network is your net worth, right? Um, so awesome. Any final questions or comments before we wrap up? All right. Well, let's see who, what prospects we can get on the line tomorrow night. Let's see if you can get the most millennials. I want to hear from you guys. Um, final reminder, if you want to participate in the race to exec for the next three months, reach out to Blady to put 50 bucks in the pot um, and uh, play in our competition. All right, guys, I'll see you at celebration, our celebration party on Saturday. Bye-bye. <laughs>